So guys, I am back with another first descendant video and today guys I want to talk about the micro transactions in this game how wild they are but at the same time they ain't completely bad give me your thoughts down below too have you seen the the MTX in this game have you checked out the shop what you can get your bang for buck let me know your thoughts down below I mean I expected it it's next and I mean I know what they're up to I know what they're doing they're playing it smart and I completely get that but today guys we check it all out and I'll give you my thoughts on it how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more bunny be sure to subscribe okay so we all knew that this free to play game was going to be filled with microtransactions and it is legitimately guys filled with microtransactions the shop here it's just got page upon page upon page of where you can throw your money at the game which it's understandable it's a free to play game the, these developers have got to make their money somehow i get it but we're going to start with a battle pass now the battle pass costs uh 500 of this game's caliber which is the game's currency you buy 500 caliber costs you about eight pound ten dollars to me that's decent bang for your buck that's not bad considering you got triple a games out here that will charge you for a battle pass yet you're paying for the game too this is a free to play game free to play game but the battle pass is still eight quid and what you get on this is actually quite a lot you get weapons you get materials you get mods you get everything guys you even get some of the currency back which is pretty cool to think about too now given i'd say about four weeks to the standard player um, who's not sweating this game out every single day I mean you'll get this completed easily it's got 56 days left it's the 3rd of July today I reckon you'll get this done in three weeks a month probably even less than that to be honest yeah but I think the battle pass definitely good money it really is now you can upgrade you can pay for the upgrade which will cost you 1500 jeez you get plus 25 levels but if you are playing the game you plan on playing the game grinding it because it is a big old hefty grinding loot shooter i mean there's no point in even buying that but hey so let's check out the shop and what else is in here i mean there's a lot of things here there's a convenience convenience section sorry which just gives you general boost to individual items like weapons you got descendant xp boost and more gold this and the other shard boosting yeah great stuff support material again here guys you can do uh starter packages in regards to earning more things and this is like an enhancements package i mean a bundle here that gives you plenty of materials that you would have to farm for which is cool i mean yeah you don't want to farm as much you don't want to grind as much these are right here for you i mean a thousand of these a thousand caliber though that is pretty rough i'm not gonna lie but hey again it's here it's all convenience it's all support materials all so what about cosmetic items so there's general things here guys which are nothing big in my opinion um these just basically change your look a lot of these are skins there's nothing you're gonna it's not a pay to win in this section of the shop but we'll come to that in a second but that's a pretty cool looking grapple hook i'm not gonna lie 350 though jeez <laughs> we got makeup guys which is just adds makeup to your character uh 50 caliber get 50 looking unique common skins so common skins here just general skins overall i actually haven't had a look, proper look at these to be honest but yeah i mean where's that i saw I actually saw a red bunny one is that in here is this just a helmet oh it's just a head skin <laughs> i thought it was full skin i thought it was the full skin people i thought it was the full skin it's just a head 125 though i mean hey yeah so what about premium skins hey premium skins hey so what we got here I do some badass looking skins i'm not gonna lie look at this jeez well that's 750 for that one skin 750 you're gonna have to buy the 16 pound caliber a purchase 20 dollars maybe 20 dollars people so yeah that, i'm guessing that's what all these are but i guess Hey, it's your money. You do what you want. If you want to look unique, you can. But yeah, Jesus, man. So what about limited skins? <laughs> 1900. What are we getting for this? 
What are we getting? Oh, so, so it's just one skin. It's just Bunny's one skin. Is that just one skin, people? I mean, it's got a cool looking skin. Don't get it twisted. Oh, so you're getting a head skin and you're getting a chest or body skin. That's 1900. It's a limited time. It's 1900. 1900. <laughs> what are you going to... Well, you have to buy two of these then, wouldn't you? You'd have to buy two of them. That'd be a cheapest bet. So that's going to be 32 quid. 32 quid for the skin there. Wow. Okay, so what about the ultimate descendant bundles? Now, does ultimate bundles offer pretty much a improved version of your favorite player? So let's go with is there an ultimate bunny here. There we have right there. So ultimate bunny comes with some badass looking things. Let's not get it twisted. That's almost X-rated. Jesus. I mean, she's a better character. She's more powerful. She offers things. She's got a head skin. That's bad. That is badass. That is badass. It's cool. It's cool. There's a lot of things you can buy individually as well, by the way. Well, I, I've just seen that in a in the previous shop. Did we just see that? Double X wing. Where's that? Is that here? Where was it? We definitely seen it. Well, I thought I seen it. Maybe I didn't see it. Okay, I didn't see it. My bad. I'm sure it was in there. I'm sure it was in here. I'm losing my marbles, people. I'm losing my marbles, people. So you can't get it there. So yeah. Ultimate Bunny. <laughs> I mean, you're getting a few decent materials too. Don't get it twisted. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not even sure what these are. <laughs> well, I know what they are, but I don't know exactly what they do. But yeah. A catalyst with the property of absorbing and crystallizing various energy sources resets the target's level and can be used to assign a socket types to modules upon use. Okay, so I do get it. I do get exactly what these are. And we also get, guys, uh, descendant slots plus one functional item increases the number of descendant slots. But this will cost you 5,000 caliber. We got an ultimate. Galay bundle, which doesn't offer you anywhere near as much. I mean, it's still a cool looking skin. They model, they know exactly what they're doing. They do know exactly what Nexon are playing is so smart. They know exactly what they're doing with these bunny costumes. They just know what they're doing. Oh, you can actually get it cheaper. Cost you 3,000, but you don't get many of the things, many of the materials. And so, yeah, you're missing out these three or four, are you? Yeah, you're missing out the four. So if you don't want them, you can pay 2,000 left. So these here are worth 2,000. Man, they're going to be tough to get in game. They really are. All these guys are costing you 5,000. 5,000 5, people. 5,000 or 3,000. If you want the full popular one for the better character, who's going to offer you more in game. <laughs> 80 pound 80 pound 80 smackerons people I mean you'll have a bit you'll have 750 left over I'm not sure what you're going to be able to buy with 750 but you're 80 pound 100 plus dollars that is for one ultimate descendant 3,000 if you don't want the materials, like I said. 3,000 is still costing you. Bastards. Why don't you just put that to 3,000? <laughs> it's still going to cost you 60 quid. I'm not even sure what that is in dollars. $80? Dollars, $70? That is wild. But what I will say is, these are characters you can earn in-game. As far as I'm aware, you can earn and grind for these characters. Yeah, it may take you a year, but you don't have to pay for them, people. You don't have to pay for them. So, yeah, that's wild. That is really wild. So, what about Descendants, then? What about General Descendants? Now, there's actually three packages here. Package A, B, and C, but there's also, like I said, the Ultimate, which is probably a package you would class that as. Uh, but yeah, forget about that. We've covered that. So package A. What this will allow you to do is you can obtain one of the package A descendants. So the ones that are safe. I don't even know. Actually, you can even buy them individually. 
So if you want to buy an, so if you want to jump, skip the queue, and get your favourite character or your favourite looking character like Kyle, you can pay 900 caliber. 900 caliber is again, oh shit, about twenty dollars. So you can skip the grind to actually unlock a character. Let's pay twenty dollars for him. I mean, a lot of these are much much cheaper. Blair, that's six hundred. Uh, Blair's three hundred. So that's not bad. That's eight quid. I mean, it's not bad if you want to skip certain characters. I get it. So why are actually these packages then? Obtain one descendant ticket immediately upon purchase. Various growth support boosts are also included. Oh, I see. So you get to unlock a character and you get certain things with it. So that's four hundred and fifty, but that's only I'm guessing ticket A. A's are just literally these. The cheaper characters. B will be the 600s, no doubt. And C, which is 950, will be the 900 caliber thing. Is so yeah. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But it doesn't end there, guys. It really doesn't end there because there's more stuff here. I mean, there's more stuff here. And I've seen it myself. So if I go to customize, we got more shit, people. I'm not sure about any of these. I don't think you can purchase any of these right from here. But oh, you can purchase it. You can purchase shiz. Body skin. That's the one I saw. I saw this. This is the one I saw. 125. That's not too bad. It's a skin. It's not too bad. Then we got things like this right here. Seven hundred. So this one, this one, people, seven hundred and fifty. I can't imagine why this one's seven hundred and fifty. In fact, I know exactly why it's seven hundred and fifty, people. I know it's exactly why it's seven hundred and fifty because it's Bunny in a maid uniform. <laughs> That's why it's seven hundred and fifty. But if you want a skin that just changes the color of her costume, oh, it's only one hundred and twenty-five, people. It's only one hundred and twenty-five. So yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, so you can just unlock this one for 1900. That's not bad either. I mean, again, you can earn. I'm not sure about these. I don't think you can earn these in game. I don't think there's a way of earning this classic maid uniform in game. Oh man, that's badass. <laughs> that is badass. 800. I can apply this to certain characters too. So a couple of characters can have this. That's pretty badass. Okay, okay, that's cool. I'm guessing a lot that goes for a lot of them. Then. Have a look. I oh, suppose AX and Bonnie for the most part. Can I put AX in this? No, you can't. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, man. Nah, actually. <laughs> Jesus, it's like a school uniform. It's like a school damn uniform, people. The Albion Academy Cadet. Yeah. Out of here! I'm not. Where's my Where's my wallet? Where's my damn wallet? Jesus! But yeah, there's loads, guys. Like I said, there's loads of things here. Uh, I, there it is. Oh no, it's got to be part of the bundle. I knew I'd seen it somewhere. I knew I'd seen this somewhere, but it's a part of a bundle. Looks cool though. I'm guessing a lot of these are part of bundles, aren't they? they? Oh, so when you purchase a certain ultimate pack for a different character, you do want to lock back cos well cosmetics for other characters too. Okay. Okay, so makeup. Yeah, we don't need to see makeup. We don't. What about chest? Oh, cool. Pretty cool. But yeah, guys, there's lots of shit going on in this game in regards to pay to win, uh, cosmetics, this, that, and the other. But hey, it's a PvE kind of game. It's free to play. Nexon is trying to make good money. Which I'm, I've already seen people in these maid costumes. I've seen Ultimates running around this game's tower in Albion. I've seen a lot of shoes people. They're making their money. And hey, it is what it is. I mean, I expected it from the start. I didn't think some of the prices were going to be this excessive. I'm not going to lie to you. But hey, man oh man. As long as you can earn these items in-game, I'm guessing they're going to continue to do what they want to do. But let me know your thoughts down below, people. What do you think about the microtransactions in this game? I know I understand some people support it because it's the devs and they're continuing on this game, pumping their own money into it, uh, putting it out for free. I understand. 
free to play games and the devs need to make their money i understand that that's completely fine there's many a game out there that do this kind of thing but did they do it to this kind of scale with like next and have with these prices attached to these skins i'm not too sure but let me know your thoughts down below guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like it helps out if you like what you see want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one